Hello, my name is Alisher Turaif. Uh, I am a, a professor, a doctor of science in biology. I am plant geneticist and breeding. And today's our topic is about beautiful, unique plant, which is called Pavlovnia. Pavlovnia uh, is becoming highly interesting cash crop, uh, last about uh, 15, 20 years. And today we will try to explain and uh, uh, give you some information why this plant is so important, uh, what is the benefit to grow this plant, and um, we will try to uh, uh, give you information, help you if you would like after our speech to touch this beautiful uh, plant and uh, make plantation and ultimately make some money. So first question is, what is Pavlovnia? Pavlovnia is originating from China and the one varieties are from uh, Japan. Uh, there are about 12 uh, Pavlovnia varieties. The most famous being uh, Pavlovnia tomentosa. Pavlovnia tomentosa is uh, the widest uh, grown Pavlovnia in the world because the wild Pavlovnia very um, uh, resistant to um, um, natural uh, conditions. It can resist up to minus 30 centigrade. It can grow. So uh, Pavlovnia has really white. The first question is what is Pavlovnia? Eh? Why is it so important? Pavlovnia is originating from China and Japan. Some one, two varieties are from Japan. It's, uh, for example, Pavlovnia Kawakami. Uh, other Pavlovnia varieties, uh, the species are coming from uh, China. So, uh, Pavlovnia exists in two ways. One is wild types, another one is hybrids and varieties are created uh, by a uh, human. Yeah, what is the uniqueness of Pavlovnia? Pavlovnia is officially the fastest growing tree in the world. It's officially accepted as the fastest growing tree in the world. So, uh, Pavlovnia can grow from 5 to 7 meter high in the one year. And in 70 years from optimal uh, development of Pavlovnia, if you grow it optimal, you can in fact uh, harvest timber. Up to 1 cubic meter timber you can get from 70 year old Pavlovnia tree. So, um, uh, uh, what is the future of this uh, tree? Uh, then uh, we uh, can tell about four unique features of Pavlovnia timber. First is uh, by density and weight, together this combination, Pavlovnia timber is the best timber in the world. Second, Pavlovnia timber is uh, hydrophobic, so it's not uh, uptaking too much water, it's uh, water resistant. Third one is Pavlovnia has tannin compound, Tannin is the compound which is also in the tea exists. If you drink a tea, you have also this tannin in the tea leaves. Uh, the tannin is preventing uh, Pavlovnia timber from attack of uh, insects. Ants and other insects cannot eat uh, Pavlovnia timber because of tannin compound. But the most unique feature of Pavlovnia timber is if there is a fire, Pavlovnia uh, made uh, houses are uh, fired, uh, burning uh, latest uh, after all other uh, timbers because the temperature of burning is 450 centigrade. So Pavlovnia can burn at the temperature of 450 centigrade, which is a double of usual timber. So Pavlovnia timber is exclusively very nice uh, future furniture and industry uh, timber. And this is the main uh, use of Pavlovnia, which is a production of wood and timber. So uh, next question is, of which variety or which hybrid of Pavlovnia we can choose to plant? So as I told you, there are several uh, wild types and uh, human uh, made Pavlovnia hybrids and varieties. Our experience show that the best uh, uh, Pavlovnia is made by human, is a hybrid of Tomintos and Fortune, which is called Shantong. And Shantong is the uh, hybrid which is sterile, so there is no invasive uh, uh, future of Pavlovnia because Tomintos, a wide variety of Pavlovnia is invasive and in several countries uh, this type of paulo is forbidden to grow because it's in its invasiveness. So Shantong is a sterile 
and Shantong is growing not uh, like a conus, so down is uh, wide and upper part is narrow, but it is a stream. And so Shantong is also regenerating faster, and Shantong is very drought resistant once plant is getting its uh, official formal size. So you don't need to water after two years of formation of the plant, and tree is growing without even a water supply because it's getting water from the ears. So Paolo is a very resistant, especially Shantong variety. And, and the answer for question, which Paolonia we have to choose? My personal suggestion is choose Paolonia hybrid Shantong. Second question, usually people ask, uh, what kind of soil we should use to grow Pavlonia? So I always tell that soil is not important to grow Pavlonia. Important is the water supply. We need to have the water to grow Pavlonia, in fact, any other plant. So uh, uh, usually root system to work plant uh, all, always should be supplied be, with water. If root system is in the dry soil condition, then all minerals are not becoming ionic. So it's like your uh, dry mouth, so you cannot uptake any, for example, uh, uh, hard uh, food. So it's the same like uh, plant roots. Root system always should be uh, in the moisture condition because minerals should be in ionic form to be uptaken by root system. So we need to have water supply to grow Pavlonia. And about soil, only one important parameter of the soil is the pH of the soil. If pH of the soil is very uh, basic or acidic, then Pavlonia have very big difficulties to grow. But if uh, pH soil is neutral from six to seven, in this window, then Paulonia can grow in any soil if we supply with water and minerals. The another restriction is temperature of the place. Paulonia can resist up to minus 27, 30 centigrade uh, 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 cold. But if it's above 30 centigrade, then plant can be frozen. So it's, uh, I'm not suggesting to grow in those areas where very cold weather you know, stays couple of months. But if it's one day or two days, plant can resist. So if we say where Paulonia can be grown, the answer is Paulonia can be grown in any place. Only important parameter is soil pH should be neutral and we should have water supply. So next question is which type of uh, uh, plantlets uh, uh, we uh, should grow. They usually, you know, plants can be obtained by seeds from seeds. Plants in Paoloni can be obtained from root uh, pieces uh, uh, and uh, so plants can be obtained from in vitro clonal propagation. Yeah, if you can get Paoloni from seeds, Shantong has no seeds. So first, uh, the cheating uh, from the seller is if they claim that they have seeds from Shantong. So you should not believe because Shantong has no seeds. It's a sterile tree. Yeah, uh, some few uh, pots with seeds is not making any, any business. So mainly seeds are tomintosa seeds, and tomento is by far uh, not competitor to Shantong hybrid. Okay, so if you have seeds, then plants from which uh, uh, from seeds you obtain, these plants are very different because your babies, if you have 10 kids, all kids are different. One is taller, one is shorter, one is smaller. So same with plants. In the um, perennial plants, many year plants like walnut, like uh, grapes, you should not propagate from seeds because the obtained trees will be different. So instead of very nice uniform plantation, you will get terrible mosaic plantation with tall and small plants. So I heavily not recommend you to get plants from seeds. So next one is um, uh, uh, from uh, root cuts, uh, root cuttings, but again, from one plant you can get similar five root cuttings, not ten, five. So it means that from one mama, ma mother, you get five kids which are similar to mother. And if you make 50,000, for example, uh, plantation from 50,000 uh, trees, then every five uh, plants will be similar to each other, but different from another five uh, plants 
coming from another mother. So you can, of course, um, the uh, narrow uh, uniformity compared to seeds, but you have still very mosaic plantation. Every five plants is different from another five plants. So the choice for plantation, if you want to get high quality plantation, choice is in vitro uh, obtained plants. What is it? It's very simple. You grow several uh, dozen uh, plants of Pavlovnia and you select one very vigor, so-called uh, the best champion tree, which is doing uh, unique features of Pavlovnia. And then from that plant you get some tissues, usually we get meristem area or some uh, flower buds or meristem buds. These buds we put to artificial media and from this bud we start cloning similar plants from that bud. So in one year we can obtain up to 5 million similar like a twin plants from one single uh, the amazing extraordinary performed tree. From this tree we make millions of clones and when you do plantation all your plants are very vigor, champion plants and they are all identical to each other. So if you want to have high quality uh, Paulonia plantation you should first make neutral soil, you should make a drip irrigation system, water supply and you should have in vitro cloned similar plants. So if you do all these things, then next question is what you get? You get in seven years from this one hectare, you get 600 cubic meter highly quality, highly uh, um, high quality timber. And usually in the market, each cubic meter timber, Paulonia timber, if it's high quality, you can sell from $300 per cubic meter to $1,200 per cubic meter. So if we now calculate simple arithmetics, if we have 600 trees by $300 per cubic meter, and if we have 600 cubic meter, then we get $180,000 per hectare net profit. Because after two years of formation of plants, you don't need to do anything with plants because plants are growing and uh, forming uh, itself without any additional uh, financial support. So if you take divide one hundred eighty thousand or two thousand ten hundred uh, dollars to seven years, then you will have about twenty five to thirty thousand dollars per hectare per year. So it means that during seven years, from one hectare of your land, you can get thirty thousand profit growing Paulonia. But in addition, many people are asking, what can we do else with Paulonia plantation? Why it's a four to four scheme you are suggesting, Mr. Torayev? So I'm always telling that four to four scheme, four meter to four meter scheme is allowing you to grow uh, after two years and the Pavlovnia several perennial crops, like for example, honey uh, making uh, crops, because Pavlovnia also can be used as a honey making uh, uh, tree, because bees, they love Pavlovnia flowers. One month, Pavlovnia is flowering from this flower honey bee uh, can make very nice quality honey and after if you put under paulone another honey uh, uh, bearing uh, crops then bee also can make honey from others up to september you can continuously get additional product honey which you can also sell one kilo per uh, uh, ten dollars and it can be additional five thousand dollars profit from honey every year. So this is additional uh, business uh, from Pavlovnia. So if you tell plant, Pavlovnia plant is a very good business option, very good business opportunity, and uh, for additional income for people who has land but don't have time too much to handle land, Pavlovnia is the plant of the choice. So uh, I wish you good luck in this business. I'm always ready to consult you in any means uh, related to Paulonia as a crops. Thank you. Sure.